Welcome to our tutorial on color schemes and I am going to demonstrate for you how to get the hex values for each of the colors you use or are present in the photo images that you're using to demonstrate your understanding of analogous monochromatic triad and complementary color schemes. So the first thing I've done is I've set up uh, one page here. You know that you have to demonstrate all four color schemes so you will have four different WordPress pages and I've named this one analogous I'm going to go ahead and do uh, this particular exercise and I've gone ahead and typed in the phrase source I've hyperlinked to the image that I grabbed online and uh, dated when I've retrieved it put a little uh, horizontal line in there just to uh, give it some breakup there and this time I want you to actually list the hex values for the three colors. The reason that becomes important is that if you're trying to match up colors somewhere else in your site in terms of the background or in terms of font colors or in terms of um, any other kind of graphic elements it is always best done with the hex colors or even RGB colors but some sort of numeric value as opposed to um, using your eye to simply guess that those are similar colors. You would be surprised at what monitors and graphic cards can do to change color schemes. Um, so it's always best to go to the numeric value of the color so that you understand that you've got the same exact color. So how do I grab hex colors? First off, I've gone ahead and found an image and I've loaded it here in Pixlr. Now this image uh, demonstrates the analogous color schemes these are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel and I'm going to go ahead uh, really simply come over here to the left where I have my um, color palette piece and I can drag this window around should I need to right and what I can do here is once I've done that and slide away now I have an eyedropper and all I need to do is go and pick a color that I think is going to be most representative of the overall color. N noting of course that um, there's always going to be shades in terms of real things, oranges or apples or uh, pears or whatever. Any kind of real object is going to have a var variation of color not just one single color. So you're just picking one that you think is most representative of the color that you're going for. And then over here we can see the color palette that's being automatically generated but more importantly this is our hexadecimal color scheme so all I need to do is copy that come over here and uh, paste it and I'm going to type in a descriptor you could get super fancy and then go into your text and write some HTML code to make that um, hexadecimal value color come up but I'm not requiring it so not to worry about it I'm going to do the same thing with the green here's my hexadecimal code here's my green and once more I'm going to uh, pick an orangish type of color and of course to move further down the line um, I expect you to list the three colors in your scheme and then I expect you to actually insert the image that you are using for your final color piece now uh, I'll just show that to you super quick as a refresher I'm going to upload that file because I hadn't previously I'm going to go find it I'm doing this super quick because I've already demoed it elsewhere uh, keep in mind that you do need to name uh, these particular um, images something appropriate and I encourage you to just uh, copy and paste that content into your caption alt text and description it helps you find the image later on um, more quickly. The caption obviously pops up underneath and the alt text and the title help um, your images be read through alternative browsers. 
important to note that in your module one checkpoint, I am requiring that you have all of these tags in place for your images. You can go ahead and insert that in the page and there it is. And I'm done with my first page. Um, again, you're going to continue on and do three others. You're going to uh, do a total of four, one for each color scheme and be sure to link them to your instructional design menu.